hello everyone welcome to part 6 of laravel 10 tutorial and in this video we are going to protect all admin routes okay we are going to work on the multi authentication and we're going to use guards for admin and auth for users okay so first thing is uh, we are going to protect the admin routes here you can see that we can able to open the dashboard page without login in but here we want like if someone will try to open the dashboard or any page that comes after login that page must not open and the login page must come like if someone will try to open the dashboard it automatically redirects to the login page. first of all uh, we are going to create admins table okay where we are going to save uh, the super admin and all the sub admin later on okay uh, so that can able to log in anytime and we can give the privilege uh, to assess the uh, modules okay roles and permission we are going to do in future uh, so right now uh, we are going to create the admins table uh, with uh, some columns like id name type mobile email password image and status okay so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to create the uh, admins table with the help of migration okay so let's let me create the migration file i'm going to create the migration file in my xamp su docs uh, where my project is located this is my uh, project 10 i'm going to services new terminal net folder if you are in windows you know that you need to go inside the uh, your folder and need to run the commands right click and you can run the commands whether in github uh, with git or with command prompt okay so now i'm going to run the uh, migration command php artisan make migration and i'm going to create admins table we are going to create okay admins table create admins table and here it will create the file create admins table i'm going to open this one create admins table and here i'm going to add all the required columns uh, like we are going to add here uh, name admin name okay whatever uh, the name of the admin that we are going to give and after name we are going to add the type mobile as well okay type as well as the mobile in type we are going to add whether uh, he is the admin super admin sub admin okay later on vendor also it will come up here so mobile also we are going to add here okay so now after uh, this one we are going to add here email as well mobile after mobile email as well and email will be unique we are going to uh, add the unique here okay so that uh, all email will be unique otherwise it will not add it will show the error after that we are going to add the password remove this unique from here okay password email password and after that uh, we are going to use here sorry uh, we are going to use here uh, image image of the admin if we want to give and then finally uh, we are going to use uh, we are going to add tiny integer for status status we are going to add if any time we are going to make any admin or sub admin status zero we want to disable the admin so that the admin can't able to log in into the admin panel okay so that status is required at that time so tiny integer for status okay so i'm going to create uh see string name string type it's fine string mobile string email unique uh, string password string image tiny integer for status timestamps okay so i'm going to run php artisan migrate command so that this table will get created okay so let's see the table has been created we will check once and this table has been created you can see the table has been created now okay so now uh, we are going to create the model as well php artisan make model admin model we are going to create that is uh, connected with the uh, with the admin stable okay so after creating the admin model we are going to make some changes in auth.php file see we need to uh, set uh, guard okay guards for admin see users is already connected uh, with the default auth okay we can see uh, guard web password user so it's fine see here the guards web driver session provider users so here we need to add one more that is for admin okay this is the web auth that is related with the users okay it, it it is automatically created when we start the laravel project when we run the php artisan migrate command for the first time to create the users table automatically okay in the first video we have done itself okay in the first and second video we able to set it up and we have used the default web auth for the users 
and now for admin uh, we are going to create here the admin driver will be session and here the admins okay we are going to make it admins okay and for admin we are going to use the guard as well and after this uh, here in provider also uh, we are going to add for the admins i'm going to copy and paste it and here the admin will come okay and this time app more here the admin will come okay we are going to use providers for admin as well okay so this one is fine and after that uh, we are going to create the admin middleware as well php artisan uh, make middleware and admin middleware that will help us uh, to redirect the user to login page if uh, uh, the user is not logged in okay php artisan make middleware admin okay fine so now we are going to open the admin middleware as well admin.php here it is right uh, see we will update this one uh, but first of all uh, one more file need to update kernel.php at app, app sdtb here uh, we need to add the admin class okay so just this file need to add here admin here uh, we need to add the admin class here app sdtb okay middleware okay admin admin class okay so this one fine after this now uh, we can just simply add here the redirect okay if in case uh, the auth guard does not exist okay here we are going to use use auth and here simply like we used earlier also like if guard does not exist okay we are going to use here auth card okay auth guard admin okay auth guard admin check okay like we use auth check here we will use the auth guard admin check okay admin check like this okay and not if it does not exist then what we are going to do we are going to return redirect the user to the login page redirect the user to login admin login okay uh, this is the page that we have created the last time okay uh, uh, see no error message we can simply redirect to the login page and uh, we will finally update the route here in web.php file uh, so we are going to uh, move this dashboard route after uh, the middleware okay i'm going to what i'm going to do i'm going to see this login route will stay outside and here i'm going to add one more and that is for protecting the route i'm going to add one more group here route group and this group this time is for this new middleware uh, that will help to protect all the admin routes okay here we are going to take it like admin okay and here uh, function okay simply we will protect uh, we, this, this will protect all the routes that is located inside the admin that require the login for uh, okay only then see now dashboard must uh, be uh, only we can able to view the dashboard if the admin will login okay otherwise you can't access the dashboard let's see i'm going to refresh dashboard and see i'm going I, I will try to open the dashboard here let's try see it is redirecting to the uh, login page you can see okay it is taking back to the login page here we can't open the dashboard now okay and if in case i will make the dashboard outside like i will cut from here and will outside of this middleware admin now we can able to assess it let's see now we can able to assess this page and you can see now we can able to assess the dashboard page when i bring the route outside this middleware admin middleware okay newly created admin middleware and this will help us to protect all the admin routes okay so now i will bring back uh, once again i will bring it under uh, admin middleware group okay so now see now again see it will redirect the user to the login page okay so all such routes will come up here like products route categories route if we are going to make the e-commerce website okay if we are going to make the education letter website then 
the students route courses route fees route okay and if we are working on the dating website then the friends route okay and all such routes will come up inside the dashboard okay uh, sorry inside the admin middleware group okay so that thing uh, so i hope that all these steps are clear uh, once again i will tell you the steps very easy steps first of all you we need to create the admins table with the help of migration after creating the admins table uh, we just require to create the admin model okay after creating the admin model we will create the admin middleware and we will set the path of redirecting the user to the admin login uh, if the user is not logged in we will check from the auth guard admin okay this one and we will also make some setting in auth.php file located at config okay and also we are going to add the admin class uh, that admin middleware class that newly added admin middleware in the kernel.php file these are the settings that we have done uh, for making and also finally we will bring the dashboard route inside the middleware admin in web.php file in our routes okay so i hope that you can able to do it otherwise you can surely contact me okay in next video okay we are going to work on the login uh, and we will also uh, add one entry with the help of cedar okay after that we are going to log in from the uh, admin login page to the dashboard page okay so please stay tuned for the further videos that's all for now have a nice time good